Austin Butler, welcome to 7.30. It's really good to be here. Now, your latest movie, Bike Riders, it's about a bike gang in the Midwest in the 1960s. Tell us about your character, Benny. His name is Benny Cross, and uh, the entire film is inspired by this, this book of photographs and interviews by Danny Lyon, um, which is sort of one of the great American photojournalist mm. bits of literature. Did you know it beforehand? I, I knew it before. I knew, I knew the images, but I never read the interviews. And uh, that combination together, you, you, you have all the sort of the romance and nostalgia and the, the energy that you get from the images, and then you have the, the, the raw truth of the words, and so that combination together was really cool. But what was the appeal of the character? Obviously, you're starting to have some very serious choices um, about which roles you play. Yeah. So this is a, a young, a young bikey, you know. Yes, sort of in the early days of the gangs before they became more criminal, more sinister. Plenty of violence still, but not the kind of sinister thing they became. What was the appeal of that character to you as an actor? I... You know, it was a combination of one. It was, as soon as I read the script, I thought this is one of the coolest characters I've ever read. Um, his patience, how he takes his time, um, that enigma that he is, uh, filled me with curiosity. Um, it, uh, yeah, the, the way that he compartmentalizes, that was something that I wanted to examine in myself. Um, you know, for, for me, I, as a child, I, I really didn't like change. And so I, I had to get, I, I, as a sort of coping mechanism for that way of life, I got very good at compartmentalizing to where it was just incredibly present with whoever is right in front of me. And, um, and that was a theme that I saw in Benny as well, you know, of, of how he, he, he can cut ties easily and, and uh, he's a very, he's a lone wolf, you mm. know. And so that was, that was a theme that I kind of wanted to examine. He also has, he has inherent violence, but mm. he's not, he's not a, um, an aversive character. You like him, mm. but then he does incredibly violent things. Mm. How do you, how did you figure out how to layer that violence without making people not root for him because we do we want him to do well be happy with Jody for the gang to be on top we want him to succeed yeah. but he's very violent I think I think the violence comes out of sort of a code you know and, and um, so it's not it's not random it's mm -hmm. not um, violent for violence for violence sake it's it's protecting the people that he cares about um, and uh, and it's not being afraid of confrontation, so there's a strength in that. I want to ask you about the the kind of the gang and the gear as well, because of course people yeah. love the the sort of romance that surrounds these motorbike clubs. Mm. Did they actually? I mean, did you did you like motorbikes before? Were you a bike guy? Yeah, I love I love motorcycles before. That should have been my first question. Of course, that's why you did it. No, I mean, it, it really, yeah, that's that was definitely a. a uh, positive thing in favor of doing the movie. Uh, I just really wanted to ride motorcycles. Did they let you? Um, yeah. Really? Yeah. Without helmets, which is pretty Seriously. amazing. Yeah, it's, it's sort of a miracle that we got the film insured. Mm, I was about to ask. Because we were, we were riding in giant groups of, of bikers with no helmets on. Yeah. But it's, that's legal in Cincinnati, where we filmed. I'd ridden with my dad as a kid, and then and then my sister got in a bad motorcycle accident, actually, and my mom always said, you, you're not allowed to ride motorcycles. And um, that's when my dad would kind of sneak and let me go ride his motorcycle. <laughs> now, we're getting used to the idea of you uh, as an actor being, getting involved in these very significant transformations. Mm -hmm. we, we saw it, um, obviously, recently in June 2, famously in Elvis, but has that kind of total transformation that you do, has that always been part of your craft or is this something that you're developing along the way? Well, I don't think that they always, uh, that every role requires that. And for, for so much of my career, I, I didn't have the opportunities of, of the types of roles to get to do that, but um, 
And I, th I think that was also something that kind of got me into acting in the first place, was being very shy and kind of wanting to experience humanity and emotions through uh, somebody that wasn't me. And, and it kind of allowed me to get more in touch with myself in a weird way through not feeling further from the, the me that's every day. Is that where the um, people talk a lot about your intensity on set, and famously, it's why Denzel Washington. So it so it goes. So so I understand. Um, recommended you to Baz Luhrmann because he'd seen that intensity of your craft um, mm. on stage. Where does that come from? Um, I I don't know because I don't think of it like that. I. I um, I don't know, I, I think I just, I care, I, I care a lot, so then I want to give everything to it, you know? Um, and and I don't think it came naturally to me. I don't think, I, I, I think acting, um, for a long time I was very bad. Uh, you know, I was very self-conscious and very, um, yeah, just not, not really good at it. And so I had to work really hard to try to, free myself in some way and I still have so much to learn but I think that that's ultimately is just trying to that feeling of when you're inauthentic is such a bad feeling I, I just when you drive home in the car and you knew you did a bad scene it's such a awful feeling so I'm always just I think going back to the drawing board and trying to figure out how you can be I better read, the next day I read you say that you've learned to forgive yourself for that it doesn't make yeah, you a bad yeah. actor it means you oh I love that you saw that had, yeah. a, had a, a bad performance but it's yeah. the difference between Shame and guilt, you say. Yeah, yeah, that's, oh, I love that you say that. I, I, I um, yeah, there was that TED talk, I'm, I, was it with Brene Brown or something? I, I think where she talks about the difference of guilt and shame and how, was it guilt being I did a bad thing and shame is I did a bad thing so I'm a bad person. Mm. And then that sort of applies to anything that we do, you know, like, but it's about trusting that if you do the work enough that this this you, that gap will close and your skill will get better and better. But you have given us a brilliant, dynamic, kind of scary, wonderful film that takes us right back into a time and a life. And for that, for the great artistry that we can see on film in Bike Riders, thank you and for talking well, to us you. too. Thank you so much.